we're going to look at what is a row reduced form matrix. I'm going to show you a few examples and hopefully that'll be enough to clear it up. And uh, well, first I'll go over the rules and then I'll show you for a few examples. So first of all, let me shrink my text. There's a few rules. There's four main rules to this. So the first rule of a row reduced matrix is that all zero rows appear below non-zero rows. And a zero row is any row in the matrix that is all zeros. All zero rows appear below non-zero rows. So basically what that means is if there are any zero rows in the matrix in a row reduced form matrix, they will be at the bottom. Row reduced form matrix matrices. Okay, and the second row, or the uh, second rule, oh boy, what just happened? I just zoomed way in or something, that's weird. Okay, let's get this straightened back out. There we go. Not sure why that happened. Some hot key I hit apparently. The first non-zero element in a non-zero row is unity or the number one. First, uh, first non-zero element in a non-zero row is unity, which is the number one. Two more rules. The third rule, all elements directly below that is in the same column, but lower down on the matrix of the first non-zero element in a non-zero row are zero. That one might sound a little bit confusing, but basically whenever you have this first non-zero element being unity, all the elements below that need to be zero. All elements below the first non-zero are zero. So basically, yeah, it's whenever the first non-zero element in a non-zero row is unity, well, directly below that, all the elements must be zero. And the last rule for a row reduced form matrix is that the first non-zero element of any non-zero row appears in a later column further to the right than the first non-zero element in any preceding rule, uh, row. Well, this one kind of overlaps with three, so it, if you're breaking rule three, you're breaking rule four. If you're breaking rule four, you're breaking rule three. So I don't know if this one's really relevant to write down, but it's on this list that I'm looking at. So we'll write it down. First non-zero element of any non-zero row appears in a, a later column. Um, then the first non-zero element in any preceding row. Well, that is a little wordy, but uh, yeah, I don't. I honestly don't understand why they have this fourth rule if they have the other ones. Because if you're breaking this rule, then you're breaking the third one. So. Maybe I'm missing something there that is entirely possible. Well, no worries. Let's go to a few examples, shall we? Okay, let's say we have matrix A. Uh, oops. I can go to my drawing tool. Drawing tool, where are you? Okay. Let's say we have matrix A which there we go sorry about that matrix a which is uh some giant 
I don't know, we'll say it's one, one, three, four, six. And we'll have a few rows here, like maybe a zero, a zero, a uh, two, five, seven. And so far, no matter where we keep going, let's say this is all zeros across here. But we've broken one of the rules already. And that is the first non-zero element in one of the rows is not unity. So that there, that breaks rule two. So that there is not in row reduced form. So we can X that one. Not R, R, F. All right, let's look at another matrix and determine if it is. So let's say we have matrix B and it looks like one, two, three, zero, 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 zero. Is this in row reduced form? And the answer is yes. The only non-zero row is the first one and it does begin with unity and all the zero rows are below it. So this one checks out as row reduced. But quick example here, we need go to my raw, oh, that's not a good eraser tool. Better eraser tool, select and delete. Let's say there was a one right here. Then in that case, it would be uh, an X because this zero row is above it. If this zero row were below it, then it would work. But since it's not, then it breaks one of the rules. And let's see this one. It breaks the first rule. All zero rows appear below non-zero rows. All right. So let's do maybe a few more just for good measure. And see if you can get them before I tell you the answer. One, two, three, four. Let's see, zero, one, two, three, zero, one, two, three. Is this in row reduced form? I'll give you a second. Well, there's a problem and it's right here. While that is unity, it does break this row. All elements below the first non-zero or zero. Well, that doesn't work because all the elements before the first non-zero, so there's a first non-zero, all below it need to be zero, and it's not. So this would have to be a zero for this to be a row mate, for this to be row reduced form. So this one, unfortunately, doesn't work. And let's do one last example. Make a new layer of matrix D. And this one, is going to be, I don't know, let's just say it's all zeros. Is this row reduced form? And the answer is, well, let's check. Does it break any rules? All zero rows appear below non-zero rules. Well, we're not breaking that. There is only zero rows. First element, first non-zero element and non-zero rows unity. Well, we don't have any non-zero rows, so we can't break that. Can't break that. Can't break that. So in all zeros is row reduced form. And let's just do one more real quick, just, just to show you one last example. I know I said the last one was last, but bear with me. Let's do negative one or negative two, negative three, negative four, and a five. And then let's do a zero, zero, one, negative three, then a zero, zero, one, zero. Now the question for you guys, I'm not going to tell you the answer to this one. The question for you guys and to leave in the comments is E in row reduced form or not? Is it? Could it be? Let me know in the comments below. That'll be your quiz for today. Shouldn't be too difficult to figure out as long as you take a good look at these rules. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you're doing well in your matrix math. 
And if you're trying to learn 3D math or matrix or linear algebra, it might do you good to watch one of these a day. I'm going to be trying to put out one a day pretty much for a long time until I've covered nearly everything. So please subscribe and hit like on the video if it helped you out. And don't forget to hit the bell so you can see when I come out with new random videos, tutorials, pretty new channel. It helps a lot to get any interaction and any sub. I did make a Patreon to help get some funding, so consider maybe donating a little there. That would help me out a ton towards uh, living out my my passion of helping people and making videos, and it would allow me to spend more time on these and time editing them. So thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one.